Well, most of us regard nettles as being something of a weed, and indeed it's a weed that comes with the added bonus of being able to sting you. Uh, they seem to grow just about anywhere, and most of the time you just want to pull them up and get rid of them, as we've been doing on the allotment here. But uh, they can actually be used as a food source because they're high in iron, for example and they make very good uh, teas and we've shown you in a previous video how to make nettle tea. Uh, so in this video we're going to show you back in the kitchen how to make nettle soup. To make soup you need stock and that's what we're going to make first. To make stock you need some chicken bones or we're using here some pheasant bones uh, strip the carcasses, make sure that uh, most of the meat is taken off. If you've got the juices that the meat was cooked in, then use them in the stock as well because they are a great addition. You will also need some vegetables such as carrots uh, and onions. We're using quite a few spring onions here because we've got a load of vegetables, uh, a load of spring onions left in the fridge, which otherwise were coming to the end of their lives. Uh, you don't need to use the most expensive vegetables from your vegetable rack. Use up the old vegetables, it's a great way of getting rid of them and uh, you'll also need some herbs we're using from the garden some fresh bay leaves but also some dried marjoram uh, some thyme and some uh, rosemary right into the pan you put the pheasant or chicken carcasses then pour in the juices that they were cooked with plus any bits that they came with add in the herbs and your chopped vegetables and you can chop them reasonably coarsely and then cover it largely with water and then you need to apply some heat to it. When it's come to the boil leave it simmering for about an hour and then you need to strain it Once you've made the stock, uh, you need to go out and pick your nettles. Now pick the top of the stems uh, to get the, the younger leaves. Uh, now um, the older, bigger, uh, greener leaves tend to be rather woody and often quite bitter in taste, so you don't want them. So just take the tops of the stems, and then when you get them back to the kitchen, make sure you've got your gloves with you, uh, just pull the leaves from the stems and they go into the pan. You don't want this, the rest of the stems in the soup. Well once you've stripped the nettles from the stems you can add them into the stock. Now, you only need about a handful of leaves. Now what I'm also doing is at this point adding in some other um, vegetables as well and it's the, really this is just stuff that we've got uh, left from the allotment that needs to be used up. We've got uh, some garlic here, so we've got lots of garlic left over, so I'm just putting in one chopped small bulb of garlic. Um, a couple of sprigs of rosemary, which uh, we'll need to remove after we've um, cooked it. And then we've got a load of potatoes uh, left over which, uh, from, from the allotment, which just need to be used up as well, so they're going in. You don't have to add any of these in uh, once you've got the nettled in, but um, it's just a good way of using up those spare vegetables. And once they're in the pan, you just apply the heat and bring it up to the boil. So when it's reached boiling point, turn it down to simmer it for about 20 minutes. So there we go, that's how to make nettle soup. Um, we've still got uh, lots of these nettles down here on the allotment and a few weeks ago I stumbled across an old recipe about how to make nettle beer. Well I've never made beer at all in my life before but we're going to actually have a go at uh, using nettles like this to make some beer. It's an old British uh, recipe. I mean 
very old, ancient, it's probably a couple of thousand years old. And uh, we're going to have a go at doing it. Uh, as I say, never made beer before. So uh, watch out in a forthcoming video as uh, we jump into the deep end of beer making and have a go at making nettle beer.